suppose the Crown's Guard is still active. Well, I wouldn't count on it. Not with the Marshal out here. I wonder how things are in the city. There should be reports before long. Yeah, something this big can't go ignored. And what about us? What do we do? We make for Hammerhead now, and figure the rest out later. Got a message from my sister. She's with refugees bound for Lestalem. <sighs> well, at least Iris is okay. Yeah. Doesn't sound like everyone else was so lucky, though. We'd best make haste. Noct won't be dead forever. No going back. Only ways forward. <sighs> no going back. Let's go. Glad y'all made it. <laughs> no weather for driving, that's for sure. Oh, thanks. Where's Cor? Uh, left to see the business. And left y'all a message with Papa. Yeah? Boss ain't sat still one second since he heard y'all were coming. Hello, and welcome back to my walkthrough to Final Fantasy XV. We have finished uh, chapter one, and that is the start of chapter two. And so as we see um, there, you get a brief scene of Luna, uh, Luna Freya, with uh, Gentiana, who's the uh, the lady who does not close, who does not open her eyes. Um, and they become, uh, they're pretty important characters, and we'll see a lot more of them later on. Um... But we see that Luna Freya has the Ring of the Lucia. So one of the things that um, it's not made particularly clear, but uh, you see it in the Kingsley film, for example, is that Luna Freya was with the Niflheim contingent. And indeed, the reason that they claim that she's dead is because they intended to kill her. But she's managed to escape insomnia. And in doing so, she's also come into possession of the Ring of the Lucii. And as, um, and yeah, so what the, um, the Ring of the Lucii is one of the, uh, sort of big symbols and one of the most powerful objects to represent, uh, the line of, uh, of Noctis's, you know, the kings of the Lucis and their, their, um, you know, their right to the throne of Lucis. So that's why they wanted to take the ring away, and that's why it's really important that Luna actually still has it. Okay, so before we uh, chat to uh, Sid, we'll just accept this quest from uh, Tucker. Oh, well, if it ain't the boys with the fancy automobile. That's us. Y'all want to fetch some edibles for me? Why are you asking us? Well, it's just an old Sid. Sid? Yep, said I should give y'all some work. No matter what kind. Seeing as you boys can't go home for the time being. Got us there. So y'all gotta learn about the wider world. Now if y'all can't find the stuff I need, it ain't no big deal, but it'd surely help me out if you could. Just what Taco ordered. Yeah, took care of that pretty quickly. Not much of a job after all. He went easy on us. Let's deliver this as a show of thanks. So, that's us grabbing a Lucian Tomato. If you don't actually have a Lucian Tomato on you, you can buy them from the vendor down in oh, Golden. Oh, you all went and got what I asked for. Too easily. I thought Sid told you to give us work. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess it went a little soft on you. I'll be sure to give you more of a challenge next time. How's about that? Anywho, I appreciate your help. Here's a little care package. Should make for good eating. So, completing Taka's quests will give you small amounts of experience, but also generally give you um, potentially more recipes, um, but also some ingredients um, that may well be un otherwise more difficult to access. Um, he does have a bunch of different quests, uh, all hey boys. <laughs> involved in getting the ingredients. Got time to lend a fella a helping hand? As long as it's not a simple shopping trip this time. Nope, this one's going to take some effort. I'm sending y'all straight to the source this time. 
In other words, it's hunting time. The stuff I want y'all to collect, I'm fixing to use in a new dish. Hope you can help me out. We have what we came for. Get it back before it spoils. So it wants us to get a dagger quill breast, and we collected one when we fought the dagger quills a um, couple of episodes, I think, in the first episode. So again, not too hard. These are quests that obviously are available in the area of loot. How was the hunt, boys? Good. What are you gonna make with this stuff? Something I know you'll like. You mean? Yep. So y'all make sure to drop by and order some. In the meantime, this here will put some meat on your bones. Okay, and now we'll get the third quest, and this one we won't be able to do yet, because um, we need to access Dusk Guy. Oh, there you are. <laughs> so, uh, you want to do me a favor? Sure. What is it this time? Another hunt. My cupboard's darn near empty. Okay, we're on it. Knew I could count on y'all. Good hunting. So, we need a garrulous airline, and the garrulous are found in, um, as I say, they're found in Dusk Guy. We can't currently access the sky because of the blockades. So the blockades here uh, and here, for example, and uh, and down here as well. So we can see that um, Dino actually has uh, a quest for us as well. Um, we will be heading down to Golden at some point. And we've also got Dave uh, with a side quest. But for now, I think we will keep with the, the Seems main Seems to me Taka could do his own hunting. Take his chef's knife and doink. He's no doubt aware of the proper points of separation. Will be quite the carver. Not creepy at all. Okay, so. Man, I swear, if they close off any more roads. Huh, ain't like there's anything for him here. So, we'll just uh, quickly pop over here. Good to see you again. Um. We are low on potions, and I also would like to buy some this one. Much appreciated. I'll also buy a couple of a couple more repair kits. Then, as I say, potions very cheap. Um, Thank you kindly. But we had some very difficult battles in the last episode, so it was worth us uh, just doing that. <laughs> Will this have changed? Not yet. Okay, so we've also got some conversations so out much here. For everlasting peace is war our only option. Probably. Wonder why they bothered with the treaty in the first place. Don't know what all those flying things were, but they looked like a whole lot of trouble. A whole lot of trouble headed straight for the Crown City. Now that Insomnia fell, are things going to change around here? <laughs> Not at all. We may be Lucian in name, but we've always lived under the Empire's thumb. Still can't believe they took Insomnia. It was only a matter of time. Walls are made to fall. Okay. So we'll just see if Cindy's got anything else. Ain't never seen Pawpaw like this before. The pep's gone out of them like air from a tire. Y'all keep on keeping on now. Ain't never seen Pawpaw like this before. The pep's gone out of them like air from a tire. Okay, so let's have a chat with Sid. And start the next uh, main quest. Crystal and the King's Ring. What they've been after all along. So all talk of peace was merely a pretext. They played my father for a fool. Don't kid yourself. Reggie wasn't born yesterday. Lucius got dealt a losing hand and your old man played it the best he could. He saw this coming a mile away and he wasn't gonna go down without a fight. In the end, though, well, it just wasn't enough.
You need something else, you talk to Core. I can't even remember the last time I saw Reggie. Feels like a lifetime ago. So there we see huh. Sid struggling with the loss of what undoubtedly was one of his friends. And also fighting back Noxus's assumption that, you know, that his father did not know what he was doing, pretty much. And he clearly had decided that the best way, or the maybe the only way, to try and repulse the Empire was to, one, get his son and get, you know, the line of kings safely outside of the city, and two, to... Um, to to duke it out with them, then and there, and see what if he could uh, see if Cora he left could do message. it. Said he'll wait for you in the tombs, there to the northwest of here. That's the short ways past the outpost. Find that first. Okay, so Sid's going to give us some quests. Um, these are generally to do with improving uh, weapons. Toy you got there. This. It's just something we picked up after taking out some Imperials. Well, I'll be Crown City Maid. If you like, I can make this puppy better. Give it more oomph. How? I can mod it for you. Mod it? Look, I got diddly squat to do what with Cindy taking care of the garage. If you can find the parts, I can do the work for you. Okay, so here we have Sid Sofia, our master mechanic. Uh, a bunch of quests. This starts a bunch of quests um, regarding upgrading weapons. Remember, practice makes perfect. Ah, you're starting to have an eye for this. I reckon you won't have any trouble finding parts for it, neither. So there we have it, a master mechanic. Um, so Sids can modify mechanized weapons to unleash their full potential. If not, just can obtain a rusted bit. He will upgrade the engine blade. Fixing the upgrade, can do. And what's that? Uh, so if you can obtain a, a bunch of curl whiskers, Sid will upgrade the drain lance uh, to the Drain Lance 3, so we've got, currently got Drain Lance 2. Now, I don't think we've got any Curl Whiskers, because uh, we haven't really been fighting any Curls. Um, Crown City weapons ain't designed with upgradability in mind. At least not their insides. You gotta work with what's outside. Huh. Okay, so if I unequip the Engine Blade... And put on something like the drain lance. With a bit of tinkering, I can turn your weapon into something special. Good. How y'all doing? You got me what I need. I'll take it from here. Take it for a spin. It'll be a riot. Stand up straight, boy. Fixing an upgrade can do. So in this case, we now need a glass gemstone to upgrade the uh, engine blade too. Okay, so that's pretty much everything there. Um, if I just check, I'm pretty sure in terms of weapons, we've only got two of the upgradable weapons so far, but um, we will be able to find more, uh, which is uh, an important part. What can I do you for? Okay, so something that we can do um, with Cindy is that we can customize the regard. What are y'all after today? Uh, and there is a detailed sort of list of stuff that we can do here. What coat do you fancy? So we can choose different colors. Uh, and as you can see, um, they require different ores and dusts um, that you find. Um, 
that you find from the mineral deposits across. So you've got a couple here that are um, free, the deep sea blue and the ivory. Anything in mind for the interior? And then we can change the color of the interior as well. How do you want the wheels? And we can also change the wheels. So if we go for metallic silver, or actually we could do like night star blue. Yeah, have a bit of blue. Well, here's what I can do for. And then the other thing is, is that you can either apply decals. So some of these decals uh, are like how about the decals? Full. So this is a two-tone decal, which just gives you two different colors. Um, Anything you like. Or. Custom decal. How about the decals? Anything uh, you like? There's a whole different bunch of How them. How about the decals? As you can see. Or alternatively, you, like? uh, you can add um, you can add individual things such as the stripes. And these stickers as well. And you can see that if you have. A How about the decals? Anything you like? about the decals so we might as well how's this y'all leave the hard work to me so we'll just put um create our own regalia for once she's all ready for you have a look The roads are perilous at night. Let us wait for morning. I won't stop you, but there's a thin line betwixt bravery and stupidity. Okay, so I think we should hopefully be able to make our way to the prairie outpost. too much trouble. Um, I also don't think we've got any... They would have sealed uh, up the city by now. What do you think it's like inside? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. We'll see for ourselves in time. Indeed. Merely a question of when. I can't believe the crystal's gone. The bastards took it all. This is far from over. So as is being said there, uh, you've got the crystal and the ring, and those are the two main um, sort of items that represent the, uh, the power of Lucis. That the kings of Lucis. Was that what I think it was? Look demonic to me. Why here? Why now? I don't know, and I don't want to find out. Same here. Say we step on it. Okay, so we've got uh, an enemy there that will just run past. Eventually we can, um, actually I think currently we can still uh, like tow the car places and stuff like that, so we don't need to worry about um, facing all the demons, especially large ones like the Iron Giants. See 
if we've got any quests around this area. And the answer is no, we certainly do not. Okay, so if we start heading up this way, we should um, come across. Is that Iron Giant gone? Or Last thing I need now. Eyes peeled, mouth closed. These flan are only level 14, but the flans were annoying last time we fought them, so yeah. I not be bothered. So yeah, we'll make our way over to the Prairie Outpost, uh, where Core is. Um, and then after talking with Kor, um, so Kor is, uh, he was head of the Crowns, or like was leading a b major member in the Crowns Guard. I don't exactly remember his, um, his precise role, as we don't particularly want to get spotted by the dropships. Okay, what's dropping out? Ah, oh, they're only levels to be quick. So. This will start to happen more and more uh, as we go through. Because, obviously, Niflheim is now in control of this area, we'll start seeing Niflheim forces um, arrive um, in the form of like these Magitek Axemen, um, things like that. the worse for wear. Bring on the next one. Yeah, that really wasn't too bad, actually. Um... Any plan of attack? Plow right through them. I'll circle around with that, though. Oh, it's another, another Iron Giant. Which will stop us from picking those up, which is a little bit annoying. But there we go. I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, what we could do is actually um, stay at camp and get some food, such that we have some buffs for the for the upcoming um, the upcoming long story sequence that we're going to have. Um, so in that case, I think we will go to this haven that's uh, just here. Entathena Haven. Okay, 
so something I will want to do in a sec is just do some more element. Uh, sorry, do some more. Do some more. Uh, what's it called? The um, AP ascension. Just do a bit of work with that. Craft a couple of uh, Blizzara spells and equip them. So yeah, so as we stay here, what I will do is we'll just go to Ascension and I think the big thing was looking at techniques. So here, these are the ones we want to look at. So 8, 26, 46. So we're going to be able to, we could do two of them if we wanted. Control Gladiolus is. And that's Control Lakeness. Okay, so we've got 32 left. Uh, I won't buy any of the other ones uh, just for now. So we'll just. Um, I'll just get a few of these. To make Noctis just that little bit you stronger. Make camp. Okay, so we've got more training available. So um, I think, yeah, why not? Okay, so again against Gladio. Well, I think was weak to machinery and. Machinery and lightning, uh, strong against pole arms and guns. Ooh. Okay, so up for more. Hmm. Because there I was holding square, but uh, clearly. Where did you get that shield from, Gladio? I have not equipped you with that. Okay. Good. And that'll give us a little bit of AP again.
And as I say, uh, the main reason we want to do this is to um, it's bedtime. Huh. earn a little bit, uh, is to get that buff from Ignis's food ahead of the upcoming set of battles. Okay, so we can go for that one. We could kind of cheese it and go for the crispy cheese pizza, which is definitely one of the best ones, even though it's um because that's a DLC um recipe. I think we'll go for this one. Master Sid. The new regalia. Hello? Sheesh, thought I'd never get through. Good to hear your voice, Highness. You recognize mine, don't you? It's Dana. Right, the jeweler. Got that right. The best around. Listen, I've been worried about how you guys are doing. How's about you drop by Galden and mingle for a bit? We'll think about it. So there we see um, a little prompt towards uh, Dino's side quest there uh, that, I, uh, that I mentioned earlier. But we won't be heading down to Galden for a little while yet. We want to focus on um, our main quest. So over here we have, um, we're heading up towards the Nordiscan blockade, or you know, the blockade in the north of Duskai. Um, we also have some, uh, some new enemies there. I believe those are Anax. Come on. Yeah, level nine. And as you can see, uh, by attacking Annex, you can earn Annex meat. Okay, so yeah, weak to pole arms and swords and light. Okay. 
So we get some Anak meat that was a close one. by slaying close those. I'm comfortable just being alive. By slaying those Anak. Um. Magitek engine, it's close. So there's the Magitek engine that uh, Ignis is talking about. We can also see uh, some Reaper tails Heads down up. here. Ready for this? Got a Reaper King, which is way too high level for us. So that's uh I was not expecting level 29. Apologies. So let's get out of there. But we do have these Magitek Axemen that we can actually take care of, hopefully. So one big, one big scorpion, probably too much. Oh, they've latched onto me somehow. I have never seen that. But, uh, Help us. Don't die on me. Okay, so something I do want to do is just change these up. So you can see that there are levels um, associated with each technique and the amount that you have increases um, with each one. So for example here we have Piercer at level 6 uh, out of 10 levels uh, and increasing it increases the, uh, the rate that it hits critical essentially. Um, I think it'd be worth just from our perspective to uh, do our best in terms of uh, trying to maximize those um, uh, each of those techniques because uh, obviously some of them are a lot more useful than others um, but all of them can be used in different times and so it would be useful to just have all of them are available. So obviously we've used a lot this of Tempest, like a fine paint. Um, used a lot of Piercer, for example, uh, and this will just allow us to to keep improving those techniques, uh, improve some of the new ones alongside the old ones. So here we are wandering into uh, the Prairie Outpost. Uh, the, you can see that there's another caravan where we could uh, potentially stay the night. And here we are. And those... well, this must be the outpost Sid mentioned. Yeah, it looks like a hub for honors. Maybe they know something. And what we can do is just do a bit of searching around. Uh, we want to read this. We've got another Oryx Culinary Chronicle. 
Just as I'm think, just as I think I'm getting the hang of hunting, they send me up here to some mountain in Clane to find some lost fella from Lestolem, and I get half lost myself. No ordinary mountain, neither. This here's a fire-spewing volcano. Climbed up and crawled through every inch of this rocky hell to find what I, to finally find what I came for. A little fella curled up next to a big pool of liquid hot magma. Said he's been up here for two whole days. Doesn't look like he'll be making it down the mountain under his own power. So, the purpose of that is obviously to get us a new recipe, as we just did. Okay, so there's another Across radio. The land, silver blossoms from Tenebrae can be seen displayed in memoriam. With no remains to mourn, throngs have gathered in Altitia to pay their respects. Many offering prayers at a vigil held before the wedding dress Lady Luna Freya was to wear. While some hold out hope the Oracle still lives, a grim silence continues to linger. Okay, so there we have um, it's your vacation. some so background. Out on the road at dusk should seek refuge at a, at a haven. No doubt that's your best bet right there. Although the Oracle may have left us, may she rest in peace. The havens are holding strong. Just like they did all during those four years after Lady Silva passed away and before Lady Luna Freya took up the reins. Just in case, we've got hunters patrolling the havens and making sure they're safe. So clearly those havens are actually, um, there's some sort of magical aspect to them which is keeping them safe from Growing stuff like, um, shaken to scale of late. A number of tremors, which locals refer to as titan snoring, have been recorded in the region. While the area has always been earthquake prone, the recent spike in frequency and intensity has given rise to concern. The Imperial Army is currently surveying the disk of Gothis believed to be the epicenter. Be advised, the area will remain closed off until further notice. Okay, this is some more stuff there. You've issued an advisory to all travelers. Mad we did. We're asking everyone to keep indoors come nightfall. If you do need to be up past dark, you'll want to make sure there's a hunter by your side. And that includes night driving. Rolling up your windows ain't gonna keep you safe for one second. We'd like to instruct our listeners in need of protection to dial Hunter Headquarters directly. Okay, so some more stuff from Dave sort of giving instruction. We can tell that um, in the aftermath of what is believed to be Luna Freya's passing, a lot of people are worried about, um, or even more worried than they currently were, about stuff like the demons and things like you that. You dream of driving the open road, but what drives you? Passion, power, courage. No one has yet been able to grasp the extent of the damage, but what can you tell us about the situation in the city? Occasional outbursts still occur around the Citadel, but the Imperial forces have successfully quelled most sources of unrest. Nevertheless, the streets bear the scars of war. Reports have now surfaced that Lucis was itself arming for an offensive ahead of their clash. This battle may be remembered as one of the most violent in history. Across the land, Scylla Blossoms from Tenebrae can be seen displayed in memory. Okay. It's your vacation. Maldacio Hunt. Car kiss it. It's your vacation. Okay, it looks like we've gone through them all there. So we'll just talk with Dave and start his quest. Howdy. Just heard word of another lost tag. Don't know where you boys are headed, but would y'all mind picking it up if it's on your way? Okay, so we've got another dog tag to find. Hopefully this time we'll actually pick it up instead of... Defeating all the enemies around and then just leaving. Um, I'm pretty sure it's below. Yeah, it is below us. So we won't do that quite yet. Um, I wonder what's up here. rusted bit. Okay, so if you were looking for one of those, uh, for a rusted bit in order to for um, to upgrade one of your weapons for Sith, then that's another place where you can find one. Okay, so we've got another vendor over here. How are you today? With nothing of interest, no car Delicious. parts, that is usually what we're looking for at those sort of vendors. Ah, we've got another um, data log entry. So the Hunter Outpost. 
It's the hunter encampment in northern Lead. Although Maldasio HQ thought the outpost would help facilitate communication between fellow hunters, the natural born rogues seem to prefer keeping to themselves. Originally established during the Great War, this outpost housed countless refugees forced to flee in fear when the Empire invaded the northern city of Kikatrish. Soon, their former homes were overrun by ferocious demons, and all hope of returning was lost. With nowhere left to turn, and the camp soon reaching capacity, the refugees soon split out into the surrounding areas, and eventually across the Aleutian continent. Nowadays, the camp is primarily populated by novice hunters, hoping to hone their skills against the local wildlife. Okay, so some more stuff. Uh, another data log entry for us there. And, ooh, well, that looks like a map piece. Some kind of weird game. Yeah, it looks like... So we'll put that one on, because that is actually over uh, towards Kikatresh, exactly what we want. Uh, and then we've got another weapons vendor, and we can finally talk here to Monica. Your Highness, I'm glad you're safe. Monica, where are all the others? Most of the Crown's Guard didn't make it. It was all we could do to escort Lady Iris out of the city. Dustin is with her as we speak, seeing her the rest of the way to Lestalem. I owe you guys big time. Head for the Royal Tomb. The Marshal awaits. Okay. Uh, do you have anything more to say? If you're weary from the road, you can rest here. Oh. I'm here on the Marshal's orders. He's tasked me with keeping an eye on the Empire. Head for the Royal Tomb. The Marshal awaits. Okay, so let's go after Kor, also known as the Marshal. So here we have Kikatrish Ruins. The Crown City, then Hammerhead, then the Royal Tomb? His nickname should have been Kor the Restless. Somehow not as catchy as Kor the Immortal. Making it out of insomnia only adds to his legend. Well, fortune favors the bold. Well, huh? The wise make their own luck. Do you think it's a coincidence he's made it out of all those battles alive? Okay, so we've got a couple of dagger quills. Very quickly done. Onward. There are some more dagger quills ahead. To the royal tomb. A morbid curiosity for the late kings of Lucis. Only one way to find out. Hey, Claudio. <laughs> Even though it was way above him. Okay. So, here we are at the Royal Tomb. One of several Royal Tombs. This one is the Tomb of the Wise. check just in case there was something interesting but it doesn't look like it so we will talk with Kor. Marshal. At last, your highness. Yeah. Wanna tell me what I'm here for? The power of kings passed from the old to the new through the bonding of souls. One such soul lies before you, 
To claim your forebear's power is your birthright and duty as king. My duty as king of what? Now is not the time to question your calling. <laughs> A king is sworn to protect his people. And yet he chose to protect only one prince. Was that his calling? Forsake the masses to spare his own son? How long will you remain the protected? The king entrusted the role of protector to you. Entrusted it to me? Then why didn't he tell me that? Why did he stand there smiling as I left? Why? Why did he lie to me? That day, he didn't want you to remember him as the king. In what time you had left, he wanted to be your father. <laughs> he always had faith in you, that when the time came, you would ascend for the sake of your people. Guess he left me no choice. So there we have the start as Noctis claims the Sword of the Wise, the first of his royal arms. That's not the only power your forebears left you. Your journey's just begun. Another tomb lies close by. I suggest you head there next. There are tombs scattered across the land. All are on dangerous ground. I'll go with you for the time being. Not only to help, but to get a measure of your strength. So... Just how many of these powers are out there? There are 13 known royal arms, each enshrined in a royal tomb, though we know the location of only a few. I've enlisted the help of the hunters. They comb the land in search of the lost tombs. Hmm. Where's the one nearby you mentioned? Ah! Keep the trip You know where to be a print. Ah! Inside the tunnel. Say. You haven't lost your edge one bit, Marshal. Still got an edge at any rate. So we have a core joining our party, so that uh, we now have a party of five, as he's encouraging us to go after these 13 royal arms. And so if you can go back to um, the cutscene where King Regis is protecting, um, you know, protects himself. He is able to summon weapons just from thin air. And by doing that, um, that is him utilizing the royal arms. That is him utilizing the power that's been gifted to him uh, from Long his forebears. We waged a fierce battle here against the Empire. It all went to ruin. And after that, the Empire moved in like it owned the place. <laughs> Okay, so let's just have a quick look at what we're looking at here. So you've got Imperial Rifleman, Magitek Axeman, and Imperial Soldier. Well 
Okay, so that's cause. Uh, You'll get there with experience. Ultimate, as it were. We can see that more enemies are arriving. From behind, I guess. Oh, yeah. You all right? Uh, yes, sir. I'm fine, sir. So we take out some more Imperial soldiers as we pick up a white choker. Actually, keep heading around as we find another treasure spot. See your opponents for what they are. And so we're going to see our first mech here. So uh, there are a fair few types of these. Uh, this is an MA Velez. Um, they all have names that sort of begin MA or uh, sort of in capitals. So this one's weak to daggers and great swords. And that, that map is where those missiles are. It looks like Core is uh, doing an amazing job of breaking. You all right, Highness? Of course. And you, Marshal? No problem. So we get a giant hairy horn from there. Um, Core did so much damage there, that was insane. Okay, so... So yeah, there are multiple ways you can approach this area. You don't have to do all of these battles. I like taking on the Empire because I feel like it's, Man, it's hot. more what a... More in line with Noctis's sort of uh, state of mind, certainly at this point. What's up here? A high elixir. And what's that? Ah, a map piece. Excellent. Yet another part of the map. Oh, the map is still incomplete. So we've got another MA Velas over there. Uh, I would assume, at least. A Magitek armor. Dangerous. This particular model poses a mild to moderate threat. The short version. Somewhat dangerous. Marshal, you'd have to be pretty badass to take that down, right? Think you're up to it? Let's see what you can do. Let's see what we can do. There's actually two of them, okay. So, as with a lot of these enemies, um, big tricks here are to do stuff like, as you can see, um, to break the legs of uh, mechs. And be aware of the fire that may well uh, spawn after you. Okay, lovely. We get a laser sight. Life's a little easier with core around. Don't get used to it. I'll be gone before you know it. I'll enjoy it while I can. Okay, good. So we take out pretty much everything uh, that we needed to there. Uh, now the only thing left before we head into the dungeon <laughs> is the I want amazing. to see if we can't find um, another item that's just lying around around here. Um, and that item is a weapon. Um, and it's the only place you can actually find this weapon. It's a form of machinery. Um, and so that's the sort of uh, one of the types of weapon that Prompto is um, proficient in using. He uses uh, machinery and he uses his guns, obviously. 
So I think it's this one here. Yeah, so we got the Bio Blaster. And we're going to equip it. And we still don't have a shield, so we'll leave Gladio for now. Okay, good. So, now that we've made our way here, let us enter the dungeon. The first of many. Uh, the sultry. Yeah. Here's where we go our separate ways. Take this key. It unlocks the doors to the other tombs. Seek them out and lay claim to the power they hold. You'll need it. And what will you do? Keep an eye on the Nifs. Find out what they're up to. But you should focus on your own task. Showtime. That's it. I will. You take care. Okay, so here we have it. Key Catrich Trench. Here we go. Keep it real, huh? As we say, the first of several dungeons in the game. Huh? The Baluv Mines, There's a door. which we visited oh, recently. This place? It appears to have been a shelter. People lived here? Those seeking refuge from war, most likely. Wars. Huh. What are they good for? wonder if anyone's still living here. So as I was saying, um, the Baluv Mines that we saw actually earlier. Um, so if I go to the map. Unfortunately, not there, but um, yeah, so if you go to the map, uh, the Baluv Mines, which are down by Longwife, that's also another dungeon which will lead to a Royal Arm. It just so happens that that's quite a lot higher level um, than um, this one certainly is. This one's definitely accessible to us. Um, what's cool about the dungeons is that each of them has their own uh, little set of dialogue um, with hey, huh. all the boys. What's this? A cable? wonder where it leads. And we can follow it and see. So they'll all have. Uh, Don't like the look of that ceiling. Yeah, long overdue for some TLC. Sure, hope it holds up. So yeah, they'll always be full of these little uh, conversations that the. Uh, A generator. The boys will have. <laughs> what was that? Sweet, it works. Oh, then there was light. Oh man, I do love me some light. Wah! Prop that really needs to stop being such a scaredy cat. Whoa. If it's all the same to you guys. I'd rather not get buried alive. Yeah, let us be quick. Okay, so we pick up the carbon bangle from down there, and now we should be able to. Ugh, I hate that noise. What? To have... I can feel eyes on us. The second we turn our backs, bam! Could be ah! worse. And so this is um, largely the sort of the dungeon theme, I guess. Um, so in this particular one, um, we're obviously in this shelter, and we're going to be. Uh, this is locked if as well. This one's a locking. Let's go a knocking. Trying to find your way uh, around the area. Hello. Uh, anybody home? Um, Locked. Total shock. Hey, if something's worth locking up, it's worth seeking out. Uh, giving up the chase? I personally don't mind either way. Give it up then. Dead end. I could have sworn this was it. The hell? Somebody turn on a light. Ah, some goblins sneaking up on us in the uh, in the dark. Okay. 
Thomas Ferrand. All of that for an Oracle Ascension Dragon. The generator must have died, huh? Well, just gotta keep moving. Okay, so the big question, I think we've actually managed to, yeah, so this little section here, we've actually sort of jumped ahead into the next bit. Um, there is actually um, some more things, so we're just going to turn around. Um, So obviously being one of these dungeons, um, yeah, as I say, there's going to be, uh, as you might imagine, like, um, uh, split paths and lots of different places that you can sort of explore and try and um, find something Ever wonder new. if people, like, died here and their tormented souls just sort of remained behind? <laughs> Maybe this way? Yeah. This I don't know. Whatever it is, it's playing with us. Hey, wait. What? Need to brace for this. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna count to three. On three, you open the door. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, here I go. One, two, three. Nope. Don't bother, Knox. It won't open. Okay, so um, you saw there that there was actually some energy deposits in each of the um, dungeons. You will find a set of energy deposits just to try and allow you to craft spells if you sort of run out of spells. Um, so there we found the ice one. There will be fire and electric somewhere else, I believe. Above us! Look out! Gah! So we get an ether. And if we keep going this way. This allows us to open this side. Oh. And well, suddenly this is open when before it wasn't. A place to lurk if I've ever seen one. Oh, totally. And here we find our lightning energy, which actually we're already full of. Find another rusted bit. And if we make our way through here. Another creepy, creaky old. It's safe, right? Right? No. Hey, didn't we already? <laughs> Never fear, Pronto's here. <laughs> Nice and simple. This is back to where we found the ice. So that's completed the little circle there. And now we will go the way we're meant to go. That wasn't there before. It wasn't. We get a green choker. And so the idea is that you wouldn't uh, be able to get the um, you wouldn't be able to get that 
that item if you had simply just raced through um, raced through the dungeon and not done any of the sort of that little optional side activity there. Now if we head back through here uh, and we head back through the narrow passage. We'll hit the next section. And we find a laser sensor. Okay. Different door, same story. No luck here either. What about a door that opens? Nice. Another one. But what is waiting? For us? Time to spare. What did you expect? Okay, so through here we find our second generator to give us a little bit more light. Huh. And that area is still closed off to us, but we can head this way. An elixir, and then in round about here, we're going to find hear that? the sort of the boss enemy um, of this particular dungeon. I think it's in the next room. We can check back here as well. Doesn't look like there's anything interesting. Uh, nothing. That's weird. Just some showers. Ah, I yes. the type of bad guys I like to fight. What do you do like Okay, so we got a few. Me? Yeah. Can't stand them. Same here. Icky. So we see we got some tarantulas there. Uh, and that's just sort of like uh, Ooh, this looks promising. An ominous sort of way. Stay sharp. Preview for the next thing. So here we find an auto crossbow, another one of these weapons that um, is both a machinery uh, that Prompto can use. Obviously, Noctos can also use them, but it's also a um, it's also upgradable. Oh. And then making our way into here. We find our enemy. So, an arachne is the boss of this little section. And we might as well just quickly find out what it's weak to, although I don't think this should be too much of a worry for us. Weak to fire, weak to machinery, weak to great swords. So Gladio with his blade of Brunier should be doing lots of damage. So there we go, we use uh, Prompto's Gravisphere. Oh, yeah. 
to good use. And we pick up our elixir. Uh, I believe through here is, this is the door that opens out for the way back. And if we head forwards, we will find the next royal tomb. Here we have the Tomb of the Conqueror. And unlocking it. So, there we have it, the Axe of the Conqueror. So, Noct borrows the old king's powers. Hmm. More or less. At this rate, he'll soon rival his father's legacy. The copycat king, Adeline. Well, what's it like? Hmm, I'm like I've got some tricks up my sleeve. No need to put on a magic show for us, but it never hurt to practice. So, because I'm interested, we're just going to head through here. In doing so, will bring us to. Um, what's this? What's what? Is this supposed to keep us out? Or keep something far more dangerous in? No dice, won't budge. For every lock, there exists a key. Or like a magical key that can unlock any door. Like from the video games. Or that. Huh. So. This big door is associated with a very late game uh, side quest which involves going back to a lot of these dungeons and taking on some very difficult high level enemies. Well, obviously we don't need to worry about that now because, well, we can't. But what we can do... Cut it out, man! is so easiest thing is for us to just return to the entrance i believe we finished pretty much everything that we wanted to do here in kika trek our map is lovely and complete And so now that we have some royal arms, I'll do a, um, a little bit of explaining what they offer us. Um, a really useful thing about royal arms is that they give Noctis Look some pretty mean, important right stat bonuses. Joke? Sadly, yeah. Finally picked up, but I'd lost another king. <sighs> Just busy building my arsenal. Good to hear. I have a task for you. The Empire's begun construction of a new base along the road west to the sky. I need you to put it out of commission. If left unchecked, it will cost us access to the West and all the royal tombs that lie beyond. I believe you've met Monica. She can fill you in on the details. Go see her. What's up? Uh, people to see, bases to burn. Let's go see Monica at the outpost. So we have our new uh, Come to think of it, quest. we did spy a large structure. Yeah, hard to miss an ominous thing like that. They ain't gonna be easy taking down a whole stronghold. Can we really do this? The Marshal believes we can, or he wouldn't have asked us. But first things first. Right. Let's head back to the outpost. Okay, so, yeah. So, as I was saying, um, the really useful thing for Noctis about his 
um, Royal Arms, which we can find here, is that they offer some really big stat bonuses. So, as it says here, I'll actually uh, go back to this because I think it's, it's, it's worth us just looking through. So, uh, we've got the, the menu icons. So, you've obviously got your base attack, um, your base defense, uh, your strength, your vitality. Uh, and then you've got magic, spirit, your HP boost, uh, any boost to MP, and then also resistances to different uh, elements, and also dark resistance and shot resistance. Um, and so what you can see is, for example, the Sword of the Wise here um, gives you uh, 100 to your HP, just a big boost to, uh, to, to base HP, a big boost to um, your strength, Sorry, not your strength, your um, your defense, your spells, and your spirit. Um, so boosting all of those stats by uh, a fair amount. And you'll notice that upping, for example, your um, vitality will actually uh, affect both. I think it affects both your the strength and the... Um, no, I think the strength is coming from the, the the power of the weapon. So if we look at the the axe of the conqueror, for example, um, it means that we're we're a lot stronger, so we're dealing a lot more damage, but we're also um, a lot weaker against physical hits, and our, our our defense is knocked down a quite a significant amount. But the really nice thing about this is that this boost is passive. So all of that defense that I've now uh, just got and the, the boost to my magic, that is still there, um, uh, even if I'm not using it as one of my weapons. And so that's why the, that's why the Royal Arms can be such powerful weapons, because they, they have their drawbacks. Obviously, uh, attacking with them costs you health, which is uh, no meager thing to just ignore. But it is something um, at least to bear in mind when you're making your decisions Man, to, uh, to set up. He's on our side. Okay, so... We'll probably chat with Monica just to see exactly what she wants Tempo to Tempo. say here, but then we will move on and do some side quests as opposed to heading straight off to. Um, huh. How's the road been treating you? Uh, as opposed to heading straight off to um, to take on this this next bit. What's he got us hunting next? Royal tombs, that's why. Marshal's orders. Again, is that prince paying a visit to every one of his ancestors? Might want to stock up on that potions and stuff. Nice. You're being and helpful you for a change. Do, uh, what do you mean for a change? Hmm. Oh, there is actually an item up there. Can I? What is it? An Oracle Ascension coin. Okay, cool. Okay, so we will quickly chat with Monica. Your Highness. The Marshal has apprised me of the plan. We found a back door into the Imperial base. I'll mark the route on your map. The way is secure. You should be able to gain entry relatively easily. Please, see to your preparations and proceed when you are ready. I will join you within. The base is still unfinished. If we are to strike, now is the time. Be warned, Commander Loki has been sighted at the base Take all care. Please, see to your preparations and proceed when you are ready. I will join you within. So, uh, Loki is one of the um, the heads of the uh, Nilfgaardian army. Chop, chop, Prompto. They're in a jiffy! 
Okay, so we have the car there. We've stayed at that uh, that haven, hence the. That's not necessarily why it's coloured in. Um, what I want to do is. So you can now see that there's another quest over here at Hammerhead, uh, which we will want to take. And then we'll also want to take this one dust to dust. So let's take dust to dust now as we make our way back to the car. And then from the car, we'll be able to also do a bit of... Um... So, who is this Monica person? A servant of the Crown's Guard, like Gladio and myself. She's one of my father's best, along with Dustin, who's guarding my sister. Hmm. Good to know we still have people we can count on outside the city. We enter this area, and we're going to try and find uh, Dave's Dave's dog tag. Ignis, how many royal arms are there? As many as there have been kings, though not all will have survived to this day. It's like a treasure hunt. Okay, so there are there is our dog tag. Glad we found it. Time to make another delivery. So we'll want to take that to Dave at uh, at some point. We won't necessarily do that right away. Um, so now we'll just head towards the car and see if there's anything along the way um, that we might uh, that might be new to us or uh, anything like that. You can see that there's this building over here. Um, this is um, another Imperial uh, stronghold, um, but this one is uh, very high level and is something that we don't really want to be uh, interfering with at this point. bunch of old sort of rubble and stuff that seems pretty void of anything of value although we did miss the uh, the mineral deposit over here Okay, so we'll just grab the treasure from up over here. And there it is. A quality building stone. And then as ever, we want to um, just Rejoin the car. Doesn't the power of kings wear you out? Kinda. I feel groggy when I wake up in the morning. 
You could try going to bed at a decent hour. Thank you, Gladio, for telling me about, you know, to watch my bedtime. Okay, so I think that'll be the regalia just there. So, I want us to head to Hammerhead first. So you can see that there are certain places that you can uh, fast. You can fast forward to um, a lot of different places. But once we get to Hammerhead, we're just going to start the Cindy quest and then we'll make the long drive down to, to Golden uh, and we'll talk to Dino down there. And then in talking to Dino, um, we'll also hope there should be some, um, some small quests that we can do around that area as well. Sounds like grounds for a pit stop. Sounds like a waste of time and money. See that you buy no more than we need. Sheesh. You're my mother or something? Mum's the word. Okay, I just want to check uh, some of the quests that we've done. Yeah. Okay, cool. You a lucky one. I've got just the thing. Be seeing ya. Okay, maybe. Huh. So there is a quest. Ah. You just need to start oh. the quest there as hey opposed there. to. Prince! Howdy, y'all! Howdy there, Prince. Are y'all on break? More or less. Did you need help with something? Don't you worry. This girl ain't got nothing up her sleeves this time. Work got you busy? Most days that's true. But today's a little different. I was just about to step away from the garage for a spell. One of our regulars told me they found something real special lying around. A rare can of car wax. Reckon y'all could use it on the regalia, so I'm on my way to pick it up. For us? Let us do the legwork. You sure? It is our car. I tell you what, you got a point there. Well, if y'all insist, who am I to argue? Might take a little while to find it, though. Find it? Fella found it, but didn't have the foresight to grab it. So, we're supposed to venture out into the wild, find the wax, and bring it back. That's the plan. Unbelievable! Cindy was willing to go out of her way and risk life and limb for us. She's the best. Okay, so... So we do have a few things um, that are around. That Cindy um, quest is now over this side of um, the map. So... What we will do is we will actually head down, as I said, down to Golden. Ready for more? You bet. Let's hit it. 
I might have asked before, but is Ebony really all that good? I might have answered before, but yes it is. You just have a secret stash of, uh, of, of Ebony coffee in there. And again, part of the reason why um, we're driving around is partly to earn some AP, um, but also Because you do get the chance to have these sort of these small little conversations uh, between the guys and that sort of stuff. So here we are at Long Wire, and then we'll start making our way down to Gordon. Ignis, pull over a sec. Um, so, one of the small quests that we want to do is just located here. We should be a nice change of pace. Because we'll want to help this person. I can't just leave my car and walk home. And it's a good thing we do have a repair kit. You saved me a long trek. I'd call that a job well done. And then we can just resume Everything our previous... Our previous route now. And I think we've done a good job in terms of like doing a lot of the hunts around this area and that sort of stuff. Practically running on fumes at this point. Is that something we'll need to uh, bear in mind? We will want to. fill up on fuel. Hoping we can buy petrol in uh, in Golden, but we may not. This could be a problem. Not sure if they've really run out of fuel, so it'll be interesting to see. Uh,
Here we are. Oh, nice. no, it does look like we can buy fuel here. Yeah, we can. Okay. Okay, so we are here in Sunny Golden, and I had to do a bit of a jump cut there just because I had some issues with my capture card. But anyway, we are here in Golden, and the first thing that we're going to do is head over and talk to Dino. Uh, and after we talk to Dino and get his quest, uh, so that we can start that one, um, we will then um, complete a, small, uh, a few small side quests around the Golden area. Um, as we will start to make our way back up towards um, Long Wife. Will we stay in here? Just so you know, I'm cool with camping. So as we head down, we'll find Dino and we'll be able to take on his quest. There he is, the prince himself. You look good. <sighs> you know. Hey, uh, sorry about the whole boat thing. I pulled some strings, but ain't nothing anyone could do after that fiasco at the Citadel. Oh, forget it. Done and done. Man, I tell you, this reporter gig alone ain't enough to pay the bills. So I've uh, been working real hard on the side. Wow. Yep. So, you busy? Why? Because I need your help. You fetch me some more, I trade you one of my pieces. Just like last time. Bada bing, bada boom. So there we have it, the aspiring artisan. We'll see that the area is actually just a little bit in long wide. Just a Seems little bit beyond our that. well-being is less important than his livelihood. And we fell for it. Guy's got no dignity, but he's full of deceit. Eh, I don't mind helping him, so long as it doesn't involve any danger. Welcome back. So we just quickly chat with Koktura, um, and like having today? add a few more things to our map. But I'm pretty sure that we don't have anything in terms of... Um, Hunts or anything like that. Anything catch your eye? We could have something to eat. Um, can't be doing anything big. If I was to do that, Thank I might do that. Because um, obviously, we will have to return to Golden in order to actually uh, give Dino his stone. Um, so I guess I could fast travel back here once we are sort of just about ready to do the. Um, just about ready to do the big uh, main quest sort of section. And that could be uh, at least an idea of something we could do. Okay, so as I said, we've got some small uh, side quests that we can do around here. They're primarily nice here. rescues, which means that um, we'll be finding hunters that have sort of themselves got uh, into trouble and helping them by giving them some restoratives Good or anything tracks. like that. Chop, chop, Prompto. There in a jiffy. There are a couple around this area. Uh, you do need to do them in order or in the order that I'm going to do them, if I remember correctly. Uh, so the first one is sort of around this area. Help me. There we go. Sounds like someone's calling. There's the call for help. There's the person. I should be able to make it back. Thanks to you. All in a day's work. So a nice little bit of experience there. And a nice chunk of guilt too. And so we'll just make the next little bit on foot. Um, it'll be a little bit of a trek, but we haven't really walked around this area of the map uh, particularly sort of thoroughly. As we find some more Azure route. So the next one is in the location around where we uh, collected Dino's first set of stones. 
You know, I was wondering if there would be a way up. Uh, but it doesn't look like there will be. So yeah, um, so I was wondering if there would be actually um, a way on top of the, you know, uh, up on top of these cliffs, but it doesn't look like that's here. So we will just have to um, make the slow uh, progress this good. way. Indeed. But that's not too difficult. <sighs> well, definitely not difficult at least. And there may well be a few um, bits and bobs for us to find along this route. Generally, because obviously you're not usually going to be running. Um, you'd usually at least have a chocobo here. So we're looking to get up sort of around where the um, procurement point, I guess, is up there. And we can see the bridge um, that takes us across just, uh, just ahead of us. Help! Is anyone there? You hear that? So there we have the person in distress. Uh, but as I say, she is located far above us, and we'll need to make our way there. But we can get some paint. Rock and roll. Magitek engine. It's close. Okay, it looks like we'll be able to take on some uh, some more Magitek soldiers as well. If they're nearby. A few Mesmineer around. The hut is on. Okay, so it wants us to initiate a cross check. Okay, so looks like we were just a bit too efficient uh, in order to attempt a cross chain. The ability to cross chain was something that was originally introduced in the um, pretty detailed uh, episode Dusky Sky um, sort of. I guess you'd call it a, uh, a demo. Which is largely looking at. Uh, well, as, like, as it makes sense. Problems here. Oh, do I have to? Does there have to be vulnerable to do so? Can't stop So press circle when the meter is active to string together attacks. How about this? Chop chop. How about this? Press it. Yep. Yeah, that's our rigging. Just try. Right there. The game is 
One knock. Rush him. Count on it. Don't. Eye on me. Gladio, do it. Got your respect, Gladio. Okay, not too bad. All right, we're done here. Still not entirely sure what um, how to work those. So as I was saying, they were introduced uh, in the episode to Sky, sort of big demo that they had. Um, and uh, they then weren't in the original game right from the get-go, uh, but were introduced in a later patch. Um, and I think... Um, just a bit unfamiliar with them, just a bit uh, unsure as to um, exactly how to trigger them and uh, then what to do with them. So we will um, hopefully get plenty more time to actually uh, mess around with that at least. So we'll get these uh, rare rock colours, because I'm pretty sure all of those ones are. Yep, that's a good place to go. And there is our hunter. She requires an antidote. And it's always worth remembering that if you, um, for example, couldn't... If somehow you didn't have an antidote or you didn't have a potion, which can happen, um, you can obviously buy them from the car um, for dirt cheap. So you should always be able to complete those quests. Okay, so we're going to bring the car... To, we could either return to the rest point or we could return... Yeah, so we can call the car here. And it only costs us 100 gil. Um, I am worried that we don't want to be throwing... You're good! You're good! Uh, You're good! ...money around and too much. Stop. But at the same time, this is a, a scene that we haven't really seen before. See you around! And then we will go to the aspiring artisan. Everything in order. Yep. All right. So yeah, we'll make our way over here. Um, because it will be getting dark when we hit Long Wife, the other thing I could do is um, find a haven to stay at. Uh, so we just check. See if we can't get bigness just to drive us a slightly different route. So you can, uh, obviously it is auto um, when Ignis is driving, but you can force it to, 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 to some extent. Uh, evidently it did not like that though. So. Have to give in and let Ignis go his way. I was just thinking you could head up there, go past the mines and stuff. Um, and it would be similarly, similarly quick. So yeah, is there a haven anywhere nearby? Not really. Hey, not? Yeah. <sighs> I'm pretty beat. Can we call it a night and head for the hotel? No time to stop. We keep moving. 
Uh, seriously? When will it end? Oh, I've got to take a nap sometime. Yes, yeah, if you never doze off in the car. Hey, that's different. I never refueled, um, which is something that I probably should have done. So that means that we might need to uh, get the car towed. I don't know the likelihood of us being able to actually. Still a bit of a walk from here. I don't know exactly the likelihood of us actually being able to um, haul that all the way, but again, if we can find a haven, that would be ideal. Or alternatively, we could actually just return to Gordon. This has got to be the place. All that's left is to find the stone. Given that, um, again, the main reason to return to Gordon is to talk with Dino, so we. We could well do that. Try another. Ever thought about taking your own advice? That is fair from not to Okay, what do we have here? Certain leaden potatoes. And what looks like some more. Eventually he will pick up. Okay, so fingers crossed that we don't find any uh, any nasties around. You can just see the jewel that we're looking for, I think, straight on. Just do whatever. Not helpful. That's just a zip toss. So just for now. Time to give him the goods. Okay, excellent. So now that we have that. So that would be Entathena. Um, okay, so how close are we? I mean, we're pretty close to Longwise. It's whether we can actually drive back also got a Mel Haven up there. Um, hmm. The other option is, I mean, I need to head to around this sort of area uh, at some point. Like we're aiming to get back to Hammerhead because we need to talk with Cindy. Uh, and sort of trigger trigger that. So we could run back to Hammerhead. So we're going to get the usual Ignis chat about it being dangerous to drive at night. Knocked. The roads are perilous at night. We best head back into town. Yeah, let's head back to town. Well then, let's call it a night. Okay, so if I try that, I just want to see where this is going to lead us uh, in terms of where back to town is deemed. Look at all these lights. What a relief. Indeed. They ought to keep the demons at bay. 
Okay, it's just a long way. So I'm assuming that will take you back to the closest um, settlement. And the nice thing about doing that is obviously it also means that um, if there's any petrol, which it actually looks like there isn't any petrol here, so um, we may well still be in the same problem uh, with regards to stocking up the regalia. Um, so we could stay at the Lavelle. Sorry, um, at the motel. Is there a... Or we could head over here and stay at the Mel. And actually just wait it out. Because you can also just wait at Havens. Um, the main thing being there if you don't want to... Um, obviously you won't get the buffs from like food and things. But uh, in particular, it also Lights means on, that um, mm. it means that you don't. I believe it should mean that you won't gain the experience. Could um, use a break. We have walked a good while. So yeah, we'll just head over to a Melhaven and wait, um, and wait there. Huh. And the other thing I might see if we can do is, I know that there is the fast travel, so we'll see, because um, we should be able to fast travel to Golden. Um, I'll see if I can fast travel to Golden, and then from there, uh, we can try and uh, buy some petrol, because I'm pretty sure you can buy petrol in Golden. Um, so there's our haven, up there. I think we're fine with elementsy, right? Uh, we have an extra slot, which is excellent. So let's make uh, a powerful spell. And we'll stick some some potions with it. Okay, so you'll notice interestingly that the potions don't actually increase. Um, the adding potions does not increase the number of casts that you get, but it does just increase the healing level. Um, that they have. Okay, so that means that we can uh, do some absorbing. And we might as well do that now. And then, as I say, we'll stay at the Haven. Um, Wait at the Haven for a bit, and then see if we can't fast forward to, uh, sorry, fast travel, I should say, to you wanna make Golden. Uh, wait until morning. Okay, there we go. It might make sense that we shouldn't be able to fast travel just because, again, we have no petrol. Um, but it, it'll just be interesting to see. I think the only consequence of not having petrol will mean that we'll have to uh, we'd have to tow the regalia back to um, back to Hammerhead, for example. Um, but even if we have to do that, then that's not so much of a problem because our next um, our next thing to do is in Hammerhead. Actually, I think we've already got we already got the quest from Cindy, didn't we? Yeah, we did. The Ever Regal Regalia. So, not so important actually. Um, so, yeah, I just need to 
mark, I want to mark that particular treasure there as where we're going to be aiming towards. I guess we can't climb up that ladder. Okay, so uh, a few more things pretty much um, are on the menu for today. Uh, we want to complete um, a few more quests around in, in the rest of lead, and we'll probably stop. Feels so um, sluggish. Yeah. Relatively soon. Uh, so yeah, if we go to that one. And we fast travel, because fast travel only costs us 10 gil. I don't know how we fast travel, given that we have no fuel, but that's absolutely fine. It works out well for us. We need to replenish our supply of curatives. Gotcha. And yeah, so the main reason we're here is so that we can um, quickly talk to Dino, get his new quest as well. And then we'll begin the long drive, uh, heading back up north. I just get to, uh, to I just feel like I want to complete this section, um, sort of. Iris is truly a caring soul. Like you? No wonder you get along like wildfire. We do have much in common, like our tales of picking up after the prince. Glad I could be of service. Now that's a meal. Hey, you made it back. You guys hold up all right out there? More or less. Excellent. Come on, you ought to be proud of yourself, your highness. The work you did today could save lives. How's that? You see, most folks know better than to go out at night. But some people don't have a choice. Am I right? I guess. They may not have a choice, but my pieces can give them a chance. So hey, how's about you give it a try and see for yourself? I'm a man of my word. So here you go. I look forward to doing business with you again sometime, gentlemen. So, the Aspiring Artisan is complete. Gives us a nice little uh, chunk of experience. And an Amethyst Bracelet. And now we'll see what he wants this time. Out of scope, your highness. You uh, might just have a future in journalism. Well, at least that makes one of us. Oh, touche. So look, I need a hand. Thing is, it's too dangerous for your average Joe. That's where you come in. I'll make it worth your while. So I believe this one is not going to be accessible to us. It's also level 15. So there you go. It's in the Ketia Highland, well into the sky, uh, well away from where we can be. Now that's a meal. Here we go again. Given our run-ins with him thus far, I doubt this excursion will go unrewarded. Yeah, but I'm still running his errands. This is the guy who agreed to run him. Welcome back. We use the freshest fish in every dish. We have a sumptuous selection. Okay, so we're going to buy the, or eat the That's Sea Bounties nice. risotto, seeing as we haven't had a good, Look um, out, stomach. a good food buff in a little while. I dare say I could make this at camp. So we're only a few AP short of being able to uh, play as everyone. Make sure to come back um, hungry. Sort of being able to swap characters and all that. Um, so that's definitely going to be the next aim in terms of uh, regarding AP.
Okay, so we reach the car. We're going to go auto to map points. Uh, can I go to a parking spot then? The scan blockade, the three valleys, the believed lands. Um, for some reason, it, oh no, I can. Okay, I was just a bit confused. Everything in order. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we'll get on our way uh, again doing our bit to earn a bit of AP and also uh, continue to listen through the Lucian cruising collection of songs um, once we get through this We're set of songs. We're running low on petrol. Mind if we stop to refuel? That is something that Be I should my guest. <laughs> How kind of you to oblige. That was my mistake for not uh, For not refueling. As I say, there is thankfully a refueling stop here in Golden. But yeah, a bit silly that. Uh... happy to know that by completing some quests uh, for Cindy, we can Everything get to a point order. where refueling is a thing of the past and it's something that we won't even need to worry about. So yeah, so um, we've got a small rescue quest located around here, and the reason that we're doing this one is because it actually unlocks a few more around this area. We're then going to find um, a few more sort of around the Three Valleys area, and then we'll make our way over to um, where Cindy wants us, which is here. And then from where Cindy wants us, we can then uh, work our way north to see Dave, um, I mean, the alternative is actually we could head up this way, complete that bit, Cindy, and go back. Um, and now I need to really think this through. Um, just because I, I completely forgot that we'd actually need to return to Cindy, um, as with uh, most of these quests. So I think in that case, actually, if we do this one first. And okay, we might do a bit of sort of like retreading, retracing our steps, but um, that's no real, um, like no real issue.
So I think actually if we uh, keep following this route, um, we will hit another parking spot associated with um, Long White's Peak, which is uh, that mountain just there. Got the parking spot just here. Ignis, pull over a sec. Certainly. This should be a nice change of pace. And I mean, we're a lot closer now. Um, I think there may well be something for us to find around this small area. Uh, so I just want to check that. You think that motel makes any money? I never seen anyone in there. Yeah, they make their money off tour groups headed for Long White. Yeah. So there you go. They're talking about uh, tour groups again heading towards um, the Long White. Uh, peak. Looks like there might be a way of climbing that, but at the same time, there's no ladder, so I reckon not. In which case, this looks pretty empty, uh, and we shall continue to. We can make progress on foot from here. Again, I don't think there's anything of any value located around. So yeah, we'll just, uh, in that case, we might as well just return to the car and uh, keep going with our route. Everything in order? Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, so here we are. We reached uh, these crossroads. And again, we'll just search these buildings um, just to see if there's anything uh, of note around. before it doesn't look like there's anything in which case I believe our sort of the um, tunnel that they're looking at is located ahead so it says uh, vicious varmints and dangerous demons uh, the reason they're camped there Sounds is, like someone's calling. There is someone calling. Someone who is tired of running. There you are. Thank you so much. I call that a job well done.
Okay. And then what we have down here is we have the um, the tunnel. And the reason that um, so uh, the reason that we'd be interested in this is because, uh, as has just been said, uh, there are demons around, and the reason that demons can be around is because it is dark and because. Um, Oh, there we are, Tyler Brown. Just making sure I had completed it for some reason. Though, I was a bit worried otherwise. So we can find demons uh, in right. these sort of dark spaces. If you say so. Wow, the color's amazing. As we find uh, another valuable ore spot. This is the place Cindy mentioned, right? Should be. Let's start looking. And if we look over here, we can find an orienteering checkpoint. A morsel of meat will be your treat, but the taste of victory lies further ahead. Seek where wheels stop in order to keep rolling, where man harvests the blood of That's the it. earth. That's it! What's what? I've come up with a new recipe. <laughs> Can't wait to try it. Ignos comes up with a new recipe. And we can continue to look onwards as... Uh... I'm going all out! So, we can see there from me using the Sword of the Wise that um, it does have quite a big cost in terms of my HP. Uh, and that is the big um, thing that you've got to weigh up whenever you use the Royal Arms. They will reduce your uh, maximum, you know, you will lose health by using them. This is it. But they are... It looks pretty um, old. It's not old. It's Arrowax. Ring a bell? Not a one. Unsurprising, given it's three decades old. This stuff's older than we are. Sorry. Um, but yeah, so um, you have that uh, aspect of it where you're losing HP whenever you're dealing attacks. And I think that was something that I never really uh, clocked the first time I started using them because you obviously want to use them because they've got such good stats. Um, so it's that sort of risk reward thing of it, it, it takes away your HP, but you're probably able to do a lot more damage. But I think it works quite well with what Let's we've go. got at the moment Indeed. because um, one of our food buffs that we currently have active is uh, an increased HP recovery. Which I thought, uh, so I think we can actually afford to use these, um, you know, this especially powerful weapon in, uh, if you're, if you've pre prepared suitably ahead of time. Okay, so you can see that this long path here um, is where we've been going. We will now uh, return to the car. And then I imagine once we're, um, potentially when um, when we hand it back to C Cindy, we might stop, uh, just judging by how things are currently going. <laughs> okay, so... As we hear, there's yet another person who is struggling. We'll just check uh, my quests, and we've got palpable pain. Um, I think she, yeah, she's just there.
so it'll help her out. I can't thank you enough. Ooh, that couldn't have gone any better. And then what we can do is, uh, so yeah, like I said, I think we're going to call this um, pretty soon to an end. So we will return to the car. And then we'll uh, head over to Hammerhead in order to finish off Cynthia's quest and finish off um, this set of episodes. So auto, quest location, the ever regal regalia. <clears throat> we might as well fast travel. It's not really going to cost us anything. And then we'll probably stay in the caravan here just because it will give us, again, that boost to experience. Um, seeing as we actually have a fair amount of experience here that we can actually cash in. range of wares here. Paradise for a technophile like you. And if I remember correctly, I believe we have bought everything from here. Have yourselves a good browse. Yeah, we have. Good. Thank you kindly. So we could have done a bit more, but um, I was just looking at the time, thinking it was actually getting quite late and all that sort of stuff. Whoa. Nith make this time? Is there nothing you lot won't pick up? Anywho, show me the parts and I'll show you serious firepower. So in this case, we've got the auto crossbow, uh, which requires a cactuar needle. Uh, we also have the uh, bio blaster. Whoa. Nif make this time. Which requires a dynamo. None of which I think we actually have. You slacking off. Yeah, exactly. But uh, we can return to Cindy. with her quest item and start the next of her series of quests. You found it! Well, I'll be. And it's still in pretty good condition, too. Slap some of this wax on your car and y'all be gliding down the road and saving gas, too. Nice. Don't go believing it out of hand, though. That's just what the rumors say, among a bunch of other things. Still, in every rumor there is a grain of truth. After all, when it comes to cars, Crown City folk know their business. It's a right shame they put up the wall 30 years ago. A lot of goods became the stuff of legend, including this wax. That's too bad. Paw Paw left the city and never looked back. So I've only ever come across what he had lying around the garage. But now that we got ourselves a can, why don't we crack her open and put those rumors to the test? Let me know if you want me to give you a hand with the waxing. So we complete the ever regal regalia and we will set up the next one. Look who it is. Y'all taking the day off? Kinda. But if you need a favor, we'd be happy to help out. <laughs> oh, ain't y'all sweet. Don't you worry about little old me. I got a lot to do, but I can fend for myself. Well, I think we owe it to you. Hmm. All right. If y'all wouldn't mind fetching me some ore, I'll fix you up with something real nice like. So, this is the Blue Mines, uh, which we actually already have done, which is excellent. So, we can actually uh, complete this one as well. Thanks for the help, Prince. Have y'all considered becoming hunters full time? Let's see. This here's for paint. That one's going for treatment. Oh, shoot, I gotta phone Holly. Well, looks like another sleepless night. Seriously? Got a few folks waiting on repairs, so duty calls. Anywho, as promised, here's your reward. You can slap that decal right on the regalia. Try her out. Yeah. 
Hey, Prince. Can I borrow you for a sec? Let me guess. Another favor? <laughs> You're gonna ask me that every time, ain't ya? But as it were, I was hoping you might find something for me. No problem. One of us will do anything for you. <laughs> and which of y'all would that be? Anywho, I need y'all to fetch me some fiberglass coating. I asked a hunter to bring some back, but wouldn't you know it? Bella took a break somewhere and left it behind. Funny thing is, I ordered it with you boys in mind. If y'all go fetch it for me, I'll throw it on the regalia for you. Okay, so, as it says, we've now got the ever-gleaming regalia. Now, just to be clear, um, we did get a decal there, the Hammerhead decal, which is not the same as the Hammerhead sticker that we bought I from the store. Cindy is slaving away all night. She certainly didn't seem to mind. Well, it sounds like sleep comes second to her work. It helps it's her dream job. Who knew the hunters made deliveries? In addition to kicking ass and keeping the peace. Well, with all their duties, it's no wonder they lose track. And traveling around in the middle of the night can't be fun either. Okay, so just going to check with Taka just to see if there are any, um... Uh, oh, uh, uh, Sid's friends, was it? If there are any, um... Things I can tell you. So I don't know if we already had uh, some of those on the map. You young and got an appetite. So you've got this, uh, this new dish on the list. Um, the list of Taka's meals that uh, he provides pick. does increase as you as you go through the game so uh, as you complete his set of side quests Much you can obliged. start getting uh, different um, you'll start getting different um, take care different uh, meals available and things like that okay so I'm now just seeing that there's that uh, that quest available and it is pretty much exactly where we're going to be heading so that is immensely tempting um is it worth it is the question if there is a haven around this area which i think there is then we're going to do it screw it i said i was going to finish i'm not going to i'm going to keep going I've got the buffs. I might as well do it for now. We can stay at the Haven instead uh, and maybe just wait um, because we do have so much ex experience that it would be a good idea to uh, stay somewhere. We could potentially stay at um, the Prairie Outpost Caravan, which might be a good idea. I think this one was a Megalixer last time. It's a mega elixir this time. Cool. So yeah, so Jumbo Flan. Um, there's only one enemy this time, so um, it'll be interesting to see how this uh, fares in difficulty to say the um, the battles that we've had previously against lots of Flan. Um, but I do plan on using our uh, our numerous spells that we now have. Um, Actually, I want to use that one. Knocked overhead. Oh, we got some, an iron giant. Again, we have no real business dealing with the uh, with the Iron Giants at this point. They're still way too high level. Uh, but this Jumbo Flan should be pretty doable. And so we've hit 9 o'clock. Which should mean that... Our enemy is waiting around. Uh, there we go. Not a fan of mushy desserts. Okay, that is a huge amount of damage, which is exactly what we want. Give me a hand, will ya? Yeah. 
So I imagine this will be very similar to the previous uh, to the previous plans that we fought, but we've already done so much damage. You can see the the difference having these royal arms is making in terms of just the sheer amount of damage that we can do. I also think that the um, the royal arms they don't fall into the same category of damage as the other uh, weapons do, which is why we're able to do uh, a ton of damage. Or if anything, they might fall into like total damage. We're just doing massive damage on uh, on those combos. So that's that's pretty sweet. Um, okay, so let's see what level these guys are. We're outnumbered. Nothing of interest. Nothing that I couldn't do more. To finish this faster. <laughs> In one spell. One big spell. That was beautiful. Like that a lot. Okay, so uh, as I say, we're going to aim for this and then we're going to aim for a nearby haven. Um, I think there is one going in that sort of heading that way. You can also just see the sort of um, wall that represents the boundary of where um, we can we can essentially go uh, of the map, just there. So that sounds like another iron giant somewhere. My feet hurt. Worse. Knocked overhead. So we get a bronze bangle all the way out here. I can't really say that's too worth it. Um, then the only other thing we want to do is try and um, find one more rescue. And this one's really useful because uh, I mentioned before that um, the way that the sort of the small side quests, the rescues, and also the car, um, you sort of like rescuing people in cars and things like that, uh, the way those uh, quests work is th there's like a twofold thing there's um first of all um it needs to be a certain time of day sorry not a certain time of day it needs to be a certain point in the storyline i'm just making absolutely sure that i haven't already done it for example So yeah, so uh, it needs to be done at a certain point. So for example, this one uh, that I'm trying to find is available. Um, once you've visited Longwide. So once you do that first little bit in Longwide, you can then come here and you should be able to find this quest. The other thing that um, these quests can uh, revolve around can also be, um, so I think uh, she'll be over, uh, the person will be in that building there. The other thing will be other of these quests. So um, the one that yeah, we're about to do that here wasn't my imagination. is actually going to open up a couple more of these types of quests as well, which is why it's important to um, I should be able to make it back, thanks to you. Which is why it's useful job, um, well to know which ones are available and when and that sort of stuff. Okay, excellent. So, I said I was going to stay at the Haven, but now I realise, well, I'm probably actually closer uh, to Hammerhead than the Haven itself. So we'll run back to Hammerhead, we'll stay in the caravan there, um, after handing the quest back to Taka, and yeah, you'll notice there that um, by having this, so the extra buffs Let's do this. from right. uh, 
My pleasure. Just interested to see how difficult this is. See that it's amazingly large amounts of damage. Oh, there's a big boy. So, again, I think battling the uh, the Iron Giant is probably a bit much for us. These bombs, um, because they're fire bombs, essentially, will sh should be weak to ice, I imagine. Um, if we see, it, yeah, it is weak to ice and absorbs. Um, you rang? So that's all very probably good back. So, proof of uh, concept that we can actually defeat those Iron Giants now if we have suitably strong spells. Um, it was very useful having those Blizzara spells because they could just pretty much wipe out the bombs whilst uh, we could focus on the, on the big guy. Still, not the sort of battles that we want to be getting into too often in the evening. Speaking of the devil. If we just uh, scoot on past that. And then finally bring what's been a very long episode split over multiple i've had to record this in multiple shopping, uh, attempts Rondo. but there we go it's well, been it worth going, it boys? we're gonna have a, a great haul of uh, experience things like that nice chunk of money what can i do you for so yeah, it looks like we've got everything pretty Make much sure uh, from right. there. And so we'll head out. You ready to rumble, Knox? In King's Night? Oh yeah, I'm game. In that case, I'll join you. Okay. So we'll get a nice bonus uh as has been said, we'll get a nice little bonus to our uh, experience here, 1.2%. Uh, 
Uh, obviously, because it's not as posh as a motel, which I think would be 1.5, and then you've got the higher level, um, the very high, like sort of luxurious uh, hotels and places like that, they can give percentages up to like times two or time, I think the highest is times three even. Uh, to really like buff. So the one in um, Golden is times two, I know that. Um, but obviously it's a lot more expensive to stay there as well. Okay, so Gladio gets a nice uh, level up to level four and it will probably start picking up ethers. I'm assuming that's that, what that means. Uh, Prompto's also up to level four as well. I need to remember in the next episode to actually uh, start off with some well, ascension because um, we've got a fair amount of work that we can do uh, regarding that. Monica. Core. Core. Core looking looking quite dashing there. Lots of photos of Core from uh, from Prompto there. Hmm. A photo from the car. <sighs> and then one sort Perfect of... timing. <laughs> can we really see what's going on in that one? It's a, it's... You can see, I think that's just after he used a, like a, a Gravisphere attack or something. You can see, it's cool though, because you can see like three different types of enemy all in that one shot. Because you've got the bombs, the giant giant, and you've got the Magitech Trooper sort of hiding. But anyway, so that is going to be it for this episode. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed it. In the next episode, we're going to finish off chapter two. Uh, we've got a few more small side quests, because they never end. A uh, few uh, small side quests to do. Uh, but once we finish those off, and also handed some stuff back into Dave, for example, um, once we've done all of that, we'll then finally make our way over to the Nordiscan blockade, and we will t uh, tackle Loki and uh, try and finish off this first little bit of, uh, of story, finish off chapter two, and finally get access to uh, another massive section of this map. So I hope you have enjoyed this episode, and I hope you will join me on the next.